sorrow rolls And the campfire kills your woes Watching the sky Welcome, folks. How are you doing? Welcome to keep on our 11th annual hunting and fishing trip. Snow, come in. Rain begins to tune up the fall as the quick water takes a stroll. Well, I'm Bob Gerding, and uh, fortunately, I'm the promoter for this show that has my name on it, too. Bob Gerding's Outdoor Adventures Hunting and Fishing Show. This is our 11th year here in Albuquerque at Expo, New Mexico started very small just bringing a few guides and outfitters in and now we've grown to well over a hundred exhibitors that are coming in all from all kinds of hunting and fishing destination places from we have three safari guides from Africa I'm at the Bob Gerding show in Albuquerque marketing African hunts for clients from the United States to come and hunt in Africa I have uh, five or six people from Alaska. We're here promoting the lodge for fishing trips for the next couple of years. We've got people from Colorado, Montana, Wyoming. I operate in Idaho for turkey hunts and whitetail deer hunts, and in the state of Alaska out of Petersburg in the southeast for salmon, halibut, and everything. We do fishing trips, guided fly fishing trips, all throughout New Mexico, Colorado, and Wyoming. Uh, we've got from all over primarily those folks interested in hunting and fishing and guiding and outfitting and lodges. For the public, it's a fun time for them to be able to come in and go eyeball to eyeball with a, with a real guide, real lodge owner, so you don't have to read a brochure or see something on the internet. You can actually hear the real story from the real person. I think the price, we've tried to lower our prices down because of this economic problems. I think we need to work together now and see if we can provide a cheaper trip. Ask questions that you want answered, get an idea, and comparison shop if you want while you're here. Brown bear hunting in Alaska is up to around $20,000 for a 15-day hunt. Either Europeans or horn mounts would offer them the best alternative to a, to a full shoulder mount like this guy. Actually, it's been steady, even with the, what's going on economically in the world. I still see a steady clientele right now. And because of our economy this year, we've kind of concentrated on keeping more local guides and outfitters than ever before. Um, I'm here today to, to actually promote my guide service and to pr promote my online fly company, cbflies.com. Um, there's a lot of up and coming things in New Mexico with the trout fishing, um, especially the San Juan River. And, and some of the great high mountain streams that are available in northern New Mexico. My job every year is to bring in some new things. Otherwise, why should somebody go and come see the same thing? Typically called cowboy walk or Mexican walk, sometimes a Texas walk or whatever. Uh, but basically the history on the disc cooking is somebody would find an old plow yeah, disc, yeah. weld up the center hole on it, clean it up and use it as a cooking utensil. And we took that to the next level by incorporating the artistic theme of your choice. Es para nosotros la primera vez que estamos aquí en este en este show y nos gusta. Siempre estamos aplicando para diferentes shows y este es un show muy bueno en el que estamos por primera vez. I'm with Global Opportunities Unlimited. It's a non-profit here out of Albuquerque. We take the mobility impaired, disabled, the children, veterans, New Mexicans on different kinds of outdoor adventures, adaptive outdoor adventures. So we're taking them hunting, fishing, camping, horseback riding, uh, just trying to really provide some quality trips to, to get them outdoors. And, and there's a lot of benefits from, from getting out there. And we have a new thing that they planted to control some of our rough, rough fish in some of our lakes, and that's uh, tiger muskies. One of the things that's here in New Mexico, the shock of many, is tiger muskies. Tiger muskies have been stocked in huge numbers by the Department of Game and Fish to control the populations of rough fish. We have 22 tiger muskies per acre, which is 10 times as many muskies per acre than other lakes have, and the fishing is just phenomenal. And, uh, between my guide service and the Muskies Inc. Club that we have in New Mexico, it is just taking off like a rocket. And we have some new exhibitors and new things going on aside from that. I'm Roger from Wildlife West in Edgewood, New Mexico. Wildlife West Nature Park's about 19 miles east of Albuquerque. It's a 122 acre zoo 
It's the only zoo in the world built all by kids. It has 25 different species, elk, deer, mountain lion, bobcat, fox, raccoons, bear, eagle, raptors, javelina, all kinds of native rescued wildlife. Safari Club International is the largest sportsman's conservation hunting organization in the world. What we do is we protect hunting and fishing rights worldwide. Where's the water at? Where do people go fishing? People that have just moved here don't know about what we have in New Mexico State Parks. Um, so uh, the goal here is to uh, inform people of what we have, what is coming up with New Mexico State Parks, how we're expanding, uh, those sorts of things. I'm with the New Mexico Wildlife Federation. We're the oldest sportsman organization in New Mexico, founded in 1914 by Aldo Leopold. And we're about making sure that we got some future of hunting and fishing for not only for present, but for also for our youth. I'm a volunteer at Becoming an Outdoor Woman in New Mexico. And it was a program started years ago at uh, University of Wisconsin Stevens Point by a female professor who wants up a program for women that wanted to learn how to do outdoor things, but didn't know who to ask or where to go. We also have a BB gun range for kids that's been expanded now to four lanes. We used to have just two. Well, we sell the Articat ATV line. Um, the Articats are American made. And um, they're really, really nice vehicles, very dependable. I'm from 94 Rock. We're manning the 94 Rock booth and uh, giving away a couple trips. Uh, one, a Tiger Muskie fishing trip with me and Bob Girding. Uh, uh, and the second one is a two nights stay at Ayala's Lodge on the San Juan River. So, uh, and give it away station stuff, calendars and CDs and all that kind of stuff. Does that give you a good idea of what we do? Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I'll tell you, yodeling like that will bring to life those coyote skins over yonder.